Hi everyone, welcome to Katie Rants. For the last few weeks, I've been talking on my blog about the economic consequences of these lockdowns and also the consequences for our civil liberties. But now I think there is a very serious health crisis that is facing us this fall and winter if we do not take some definite action this summer to reopen our society. And really what we ultimately need to do is to have a normal summer. And so I'm gonna explain why. And you know, to those of you who are very, very nervous about this COVID-19 virus, and to those of you who are very, very like, we need to lock down, we need to stop this virus, you know, it's, you know, if you're in that mindset, then you really need to listen to what I have to say. Because if you are concerned about this virus, if you're concerned about yourself getting it because you're immunocompromised or your loved ones getting it, you need to understand this, that this is so crucial that we do not have a severe health crisis this fall and winter during flu season. So all of the experts so far that I have heard from have said that this virus, this COVID-19 is most likely seasonal, meaning that even if we get it under control now, it's going to come back in the fall and winter with the flu, with the common cold, with all the other viruses that we get and that circulate around the population during the fall and winter months. So that alone is scary. Because with all of the craziness surrounding this virus in the last couple of months, the thought of it coming back in full force this fall and winter is terrifying to any of us. No matter how kind of seriously we've taken this virus or how worried we are right now, the idea of it coming back full, full force, like, that's, it's scary. But there's a process that naturally happens during the summer months leading up to that flu season that protects us from having the kind of severe reaction to the flu that people are having to this this COVID-19 virus. And we build up our immune system during the summer months using this process. So there's a few different things that we just do naturally. We don't even think about necessarily, and we need to make sure that we do them this summer. So I really want the takeaway that I want you all to have from this video is that if we don't have a normal summer, and we don't follow this process, the the health consequences this flu season are going to be so severe, it's going to make this these last two months look like nothing. Okay? So share this video, talk to your friends and family, make plans this summer to get outside. So during the summer months, we exercise more, we eat healthier, um, we're out in the sunlight and we're around other people. So the exercise and eating healthy, obviously, if you're healthier and your immune system's healthier, we all get that, right? So those things we should be doing anyway, summer or no summer. But when we talk about getting outside in the sunlight and the fresh air, we know that sunlight gives us vitamin D, and we know that vitamin D deficiency has been linked to severe outcomes for COVID-19 patients. So understanding that we need our vitamin D and we get that vitamin D best from sunlight. We can take it from supplements, but our body absorbs it best when we are out in the sunlight. So making sure that you're getting outside at the very least. So if you're somebody who's very, very concerned and you're not ready to be around people yet, the best thing you can do right now is eat healthy, exercise, and be out in the sunlight. So those three things, if you do those three things, you're going to strengthen your immune system but if you're ready to take that next step and really be ready for this fall and winter, really be ready for flu season, and you're not immunocompromised. So if you're immunocompromised, stick to those three things. If you are at severe risk for COVID-19, eat healthy, exercise, be outside in the sunshine. Do those three things. If you're severely immunocompromised and you, you know, you cannot get COVID-19 or you're at high risk, you know, whatever, you know, if you're in that situation. But if you are not at high risk, if you are not exceptionally vulnerable, you need to be around other people this summer. Because those of us who have normal functioning immune systems who are not at the, in that vulnerable population, our immune systems actually strengthen when we are exposed in small amounts to a bunch of different viruses. And when you're outside on the beach, if you're in Texas, you know, we go out and float on the river. If you are outside in the parks, in the public spaces, and you're having brief limited contact with people, not prolonged enclosed space contact, but brief open air contact with people out in the sunshine, out in the fresh circulating air, 
you actually get these little limited exposures to viruses. Your body reacts to them, builds up antibodies, builds up an immune response, and it actually strengthens your immune system without you getting the full virus, without you getting the flu or the cold full on. So it's really important that you do that process this summer so that when we get to fall and winter, you do not get severely ill, severely sick with COVID-19, the flu, the cold, whatever, so that you are still functional and that your immune system is still working. Because what we do not want to see happen is a mass incidence of severe flu, severe cold, severe COVID-19 among otherwise healthy people, people who are not part of that vulnerable population. Because we can, we can be prepared for, we can prepare our healthcare system to take care of those who are vulnerable. But we cannot prepare our healthcare system to take care of everybody, right, all at the same time. And that was the whole point of slowing the spread and slowing, you know, flattening the curve right? So if you really care about flattening the curve, you really care about slowing the spread, we need to get outside the summer, build up our immune systems, especially those of us who are not vulnerable. So please join me this Memorial Day weekend and all the way through the summer. I'm going to go out and float on the river. I'm going to go out and be in, you know, be outside in the sunshine and I'm going to go be around other people because I'm not at high risk. And so I know that I need to build up my immune system so that I do not burden the healthcare system this fall and winter with when I get the flu or the cold or whatever. I need to have my immune system at peak performance, at its top level of function, so that I do not become part of the problem. So this Memorial Day weekend, all through the summer, get outside, get some sunshine, get some exercise, eat healthy, and be around people. Get those limited exposure to viruses in the sunshine, in the in those optimal conditions where your body can fight it off. So thank you for watching. Please share this video. Please talk to your friends and family. Make a plan to get outside this summer and make a plan for us to get around other people so that we can have those limited exposures to viruses, build up our immune system, and not be totally taken by surprise this fall and winter when flu season comes back. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you again soon.